Voyager 1, the fearless spacecraft that was sent into space in 1977, has been humanity's farthest ambassador into the universe for decades. It has relayed precious information from the outer limits of our solar system and beyond, with only occasional glimpses of territory no human-made vehicle has ever explored. Yet even after many years and an immense distance traveled, Voyager 1 still surprises researchers and space observers. Most recently, the spacecraft ran into something that is not within conventional comprehension, a phenomenon so unexplainable it has sparked heated debate throughout the scientific community. What makes the event even more interesting is emerging evidence that Voyager may first not be flying solo out there. The encounter started deceptively, almost unnoticed, with a string of anomalies found in Voyager 1's telemetry. What initially seemed like standard interference in the space vehicle's old communication systems soon turned into something much more mysterious. Sensors that had been working properly for decades began to send back data choked with odd, repeating patterns, signals that bore no semblance to recognized cosmic radiation or mechanical problems. Rather, the signals showed a level of complexity that implied purpose. They weren't glitches, they were messages, or at least an attempt to communicate. The signals refused every decoding program tried on them, as if in a language that wasn't human. At first, NASA engineers assumed it was a system's error. After all, the spacecraft had endured over four decades of harsh cosmic radiation, deep space vacuum, and the degrading power of its thermoelectric generators. But the deeper they looked, the less sense the data made. The signals were too consistent, too mathematically structured. They weren't static. They evolved, shifting patterns that seemed to adapt based on the spacecraft's responses. What made the episode even more puzzling was the location of Voyager 1 at the time. The ship had well exceeded the heliopause, the border that defines the edge of our solar system, and moved into the vast desolation of interstellar space, a space thought to consist of nothing but low-density plasma and scattered cosmic particles. And yet in this desolate, cold emptiness, there was movement. Electromagnetic waves disturbed the plasma and were picked up by Voyager instruments. The waves were not random or chaotic, they were rhythmic, synchronized, and seemed to be reacting directly to the presence of Voyager. During three days, Voyager 1 was in a mode of interaction with something nobody could understand. Scientists rushed to match the anomaly against past deep space observations. Though Voyager 1 had previously encountered unexplained changes in plasma density or temperature anomalies, nothing approached the consistency and tenacity of this one. It was a pulse, a beat, a structure, something that seemed a response to the presence of Voyager itself, as if the probe was now no longer merely an observer, but a participant. Then, with as sudden an inception as it had started, the signal was gone. The ensuing silence was nearly as unsettling as the occurrence itself. For most of the mission crew, it was the silence of having seen something unusual and then seeing it taken away, like hearing a voice in the dark and then nothing but your own breathing. But the implications were astounding. First, the event questions our concept of interstellar space as an empty, passive expanse formed by the debris of dead stars and remote cosmic influence. If something out there is intelligent enough to create signals, much less perceive and respond to a spacecraft such as Voyager 1, then our current assumptions of what exists beyond the solar system are going to have to change. Interstellar space is not as empty as everyone supposed. It can harbor phenomena, or even life forms, that are entirely beyond our scientific paradigms. More scrutiny of the telemetry showed another stunning fact. The signal's frequency modulation varied subtly in accordance with Voyager 1's motion, its path, velocity, and direction. These variations were not random. They followed the spacecraft's course as if the signal's source were monitoring it in real time. This implied not just detection, but awareness, perhaps even intent. The notion of something observing Voyager wasn't merely frightening, it was revolutionary. And then came a shocker. Scientists working with the Deep Space Network announced that weak copies of the same signal were being picked up from various places, not only from Voyager's position. If these copies existed, then Voyager 1 was not the only point of contact. Whatever it was, it might be pervasive, scattered all over space, or working in conjunction with a network. 
Others even speculated regarding a mesh, so advanced an interstellar communication network, we would only be able to observe its shadows. At mission control at NASA, the mood changed. The staff, many of whom had spent their professional lives working with Voyager, were starting to become increasingly uneasy. The spacecraft, previously a quiet lone wanderer in an empty silence, now appeared to be communicating with something conscious, or at least highly structured. Each bit of data from Voyager 1 was studied with intense haste. Physicists, mathematicians, and astrobiologists worked together to unravel the character of the signal, but there was no agreement. There was this much, though, that was certain, this was no fault or equipment failure. Its structure was perhaps the most confounding thing about the signal. Conventional systems of communication, natural or otherwise, function in well-known domains, radio waves, x-rays, gamma bursts. But this signal resisted classification. It bridged several frequencies, generating harmonic distortions and phase shifts that shouldn't be there in such a setting. It traveled through known spectra like a ghost. Some theorized it was some kind of encryption, designed not to be deciphered or only decipherable by those who possessed the correct key. This caused renewed debate of once-abandoned theories, techno-signatures, dark biospheres, and even civilizations in layers or dimensions beyond our own. Maybe these were not just random glitches, but a digital equivalent of handshakes, echoes of something knowing that we were paying attention. In addition, the encounter caused a complete overhaul of our approach to exploring deep space. Voyager's mission up to now had been strictly observational. We constructed it to observe, to hear, and to document, never anticipating the universe would react. Yet suppose it had? Suppose our machines, regardless of how inert, had attracted notice? The notion that Voyager could have been seen is as exciting as it is unnerving. It suggests a universe that not only exists, but perhaps is cognizant of us. The psychological effect on participants was significant. Scientists and engineers were starting to think about Voyager not only as a device, but as a witness. It was now a sentinel at the edge of the familiar, touching the unknown. Public interest went into overdrive as word got around. Twitter was full of theories. Was this first contact? A dimensional overlap? A secret alien probe? While many speculations were extreme, the common thread was an acknowledgement that something extraordinary had happened. Lying on top of the Enigma was a surprise development in the power systems of Voyager 1. Even as it was powered by aging thermoelectric generators whose energy output was gradually fading, the spacecraft had shown a brief spike in the power output during the anomaly. The increase was quantifiable and lasted long enough to be adjudged substantial. The scientists were perplexed. Was Voyager powered up by an outside agency? Was the signal capable of carrying not only data, but also energy, possibly even information and physical fluctuations? If so, this would indicate something beyond communication. It would imply interaction, perhaps even transformation. Post-event diagnostics did not show any clear tampering, but subtle recalibrations were detected. Instruments that were believed to be past their shelf life began operating with a renewed level of efficiency. Systems that had been dormant resumed activity. Voyager 1, which had long been believed to be dying into silence, now indicated the presence of subtle renewal. Then came an event that transformed this into a global cosmic phenomenon from a solitary enigma. Voyager 2, millions of kilometers behind Voyager 1, started to detect identical, albeit fainter, anomalies. Though less powerful, the patterns were clearly connected. This indicated that the event was not a lone occurrence. Either the same force was affecting both probes, or something immense was drifting through interstellar space, which could touch each of the spacecraft successively. It raised new questions. Were these coordinated signals? Was there a common environment throughout space filled with invisible activity? Was this just a part of some huge, distributed intelligence that spanned star systems, whispering its secrets only to our farthest instruments? These concurrent events pushed the limits of accepted science and brought about once-verged ideas to serious consideration. Did space contain consciousness? Were there unseen networks, structures, or intelligences on scales beyond what could be conceived? For many, the distinctions between science and science fiction began to blur. 
but the hard facts commanded attention. Voyager 1, the most isolated wanderer in history, had encountered something. As scientists continue to analyze the data, speculation intensifies. Some believe we've witnessed the early signs of a communication protocol from an alien intelligence, a kind of cosmic ping. Others propose that the signals are artifacts of higher dimensional physics, bleeding through into our detectable universe. And then, of course, there are those who suggest Voyager 1 simply awakened something ancient, something that had been dormant until now. Whatever the explanation, this encounter will probably be one of the most hotly contested moments in the history of spaceflight. It has not only rekindled interest in Voyager's mission, but has also reshaped what we anticipate from the universe. Voyager 1's signal will dim with time, but the questions it posed will resound through generations of scientists, thinkers, and dreamers. If this trip to the unknown interested you, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. What do you think Voyager 1 ran into? Is it intelligent life, some unknown cosmic power, or something that we cannot even imagine? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay curious.